These are sprout well greenhouses. Now, it may come as a surprise to know that greenhouses, traditionally associated with large production and wholesale nurseries, are finding ready homes in suburban backyards, on a much smaller scale like these, of course. Many years ago, I visited a great uncle in England who had a glass house in his garden where he grew grapes and made his own wine. The plants grew beautifully, and the wine had a kick like a mule. Now, Australians are finding these structures so useful, maybe not for wine production, but many other great reasons. This is all weather gardening. Come the welcome rain, hail or shine. Now firstly, Clayton, is it best to call these glass houses or greenhouses because that's not glass? Certainly not glass, it's um, polycarbonate. This particular design, it's a, it's a 10 mil twin wall polycarbonate. The, the main benefit of it is you get improved impact resistance. It's not going to break like glass and it'll give you improved insulation properties due to its twin world nature. So it's going to help keep the heat in the greenhouse for longer, which will extend your growing season. Beautiful in winter, I can understand the heat there, but what about in summer when you've got the intense sun? Yeah, look, in, in summer, one of the biggest things is you need to keep the greenhouse cool. Now, there's a number of different ways you can do that. We've obviously got roof vents, we've also got louvers, and we've got shading systems that also go over the top of the greenhouses, which is an aluminum product you see here and it, it's very strong durable it not only reflects the heat that's the outside face but it um, it also provides a, a shading factor to the greenhouse now I noticed some other accessories you've got benches um, run me through some of the things you can put into a greenhouse this is a tube heater extremely effective in in winter extremely energy efficient as well we've also got a, a fan heater so depending on what you're trying to do in the space, a lot of people will want the gentle heat that a tube heater will provide, but the fan heater will, will heat the space um, more effectively. Now I spied some raised garden beds. How good are they in here? Yeah, they're, they're brilliant in here. They're easy to add, they're versatile. Um, we have them in a number of different heights, widths. You can have them up to almost a metre height. Now is there a greenhouse to fit any size garden? Look, there certainly is. We have greenhouses that are that are basically 1.8 metres long, right up to 20 metres in length, which you can do in this Grange series, and they can easily be extended at any time. They're becoming so popular basically because of the, the cost effectiveness to buy them and, and put them in your backyard. And the product like this, the, the Grange that you see here, it's one of our new products, and it's, it's based around a, a square hollow section aluminium, so the strength of it is unsurpassed in any other greenhouse. This new design reduces assembly time by up to 70%, meaning you'll have it up in no time. If you want to find out more about Spratwell greenhouses, check out their website. I reckon in greenhouses like this, people can throw stones. <laughs>